years ago, months before Matan would meet the love of his life, he delivered a beautiful speech at my wedding where he shared that he one day hoped that he would experience a beautiful love for himself. Little did he know that three months later, he would meet Ben, his Bashir. In a text to me, after their first date, Matan described Ben as super cute, smart, dorky, and sweet. And then he said, Hadas, he is Mushlam, which is the word for perfect. I know. Okay. That was part of the fun for me. <laughs> it was a nice surprise. You look so good. You look great. Are you ready? Very. It was tennis. <laughs> Fine. Played a lot of doubles. It's all and I won. I woke up at five. I slept a 10 minute nap at noon. That's what I've accomplished. I've been for a long time, but adrenaline okay. will be great. It will pull you through. You are blessed with the sense of having met the right person at the right time. And your journey together, as with any long-term relationship, I am sorry to say, will not be smooth. But you have a deep, loving connection that will enable you to work through any conflict in a loving, compassionate way. But then I think back to the times where you call me the nicer brother, and I have to think about why that is. And the biggest moment that that goes to is when I think I was in like third grade or fourth grade. I got very scared and I couldn't sleep in my own room. So I shared Ben's room and I slept in his room for probably two months sharing the room with Ben. And I thought I was the one that was scared and I never wanted to leave until finally I left. And then like a year ago, Ben tells me that he didn't want to sleep alone either. When I started thinking about leaving the room, he purposefully scared me so that I would want to stay in the room. And it worked. I mean, for up until that time, I thought it was all me. We finally made it to today, but where do I start? The last and only other time that I stood under a chuppah was at my sister's wedding. During that beautiful ceremony, there was a moment that I lost it, which clearly doesn't take a lot. Witnessing the beautiful love that my sister and her husband had for each other, while also realizing 
my unrealized love would look different and not sure how it would work out or how it would be accepted. Choosing to live my truth from that day on was a decision that ultimately led me to you. So a few years ago, uh, I was driving home from work and Matan called me and he was telling me that he had something very important to tell me. He needed to talk to me right away. So I, I cut the engine in the driveway. I said, Matan, what's up? Matan proceeded to reveal to me that he's gay and he's crying. I know, big surprise, right? I, and I asked Matan, why are you crying? And he said, because I didn't know how you would react. Now, first of all, it's not like I didn't already sort of know. But I said, Matan, I love you. You're my son. I mean, what do we want for our children? We want them to be successful and find a meaningful path in life. We want them to find love. And we want them to be happy. And so Matan has been very successful in his young career, so has Ben. And obviously Matan has found the love of his life. And Ben, that's where you come in. Because, and I think I've said this to you too before, Ben, I believe that you complete Matan and he completes you. And there's no one in this room that has any degree of doubt that the two of you were meant for each other. I fell in love with you so quickly, it happened before I knew why. On that extended date in a bar dancing to 80s hits you didn't know a single lyric to. <laughs> I realized I didn't feel any of the normal anxiety of a second date. What hit me was a certainty that no matter what I did, what I said, how I acted, you were gonna like me for me, I was gonna like you for you. It was just gonna work. It was amazing and exciting, a little scary. <laughs> Since that night, you have never given me anything but that certainty. You always make me feel like enough. That's how I knew before I could even articulate reasons that I loved you. Now I've had the chance to discover at least a few of those. But as the Hebrew verse goes, kol meshubach. You know, the more we say, the better it becomes. So I actually want to say something about your names. Matan. Everybody knows what the word matan means. It means a gift. And we chose it because we knew that he will be a gift, not only to our family, but to everybody he meets along the way in this journey. And it's not a coincidence that he met his treasure, because every gift also has a treasure. And he met Ben Zion, the son of Zion, as his partner in life. And knowing Matan and his love for our people and our tradition and our history and where we come from, to be married to a Ben Zion David is even puts the cherry on the cake. And together, these two are going to illuminate the world around them. And they already started just by being who they are. And together, it's even stronger.
Not every partner would be able to crash at their soon-to-be in-laws for three months when the world is experiencing a once-in-a-century pandemic. But that time that we spent together and every simcha that I get to attend with your family is something that I cherish. You're a walking encyclopedia of tennis knowledge. <laughs> Is that Ben quietly crawling out of bed at 5 a.m. to watch the finals of the Australian Open? It is. And even if I don't share that same enthusiasm year-round, I can't wait to fulfill your dream of attending each of the Grand Slams at some point in our life. We are good on our own, but in you, I found the other half that makes me the best version of myself. The half that ignites my fire and challenges me, but at the same time comforts and supports me through the curveballs that life throws. In this world of infinite possibilities, the choices we make today determine our future, and today I get to choose you. I love you so much, and I can't wait to tackle what life has to offer us together. One fun story that not everyone knows is that Matan and Ben both had plans to propose to each other unknowingly at the same time on a trip to Portland that ended up being canceled at the start of the pandemic. And of course, both of them confided their plan in me. So you can only imagine how I felt trying to coordinate two proposals that were supposed to be surprises for the other person at the same time and the other one didn't know. It would have been both amazing and heart attack provoking if it would have happened. But even though COVID foiled those plans, this story is the epitome of how Matan and Ben, both knowingly and unknowingly, are on the same page of the same chapter of the same romance novel. My heart sings with joy to see Matan so happy and it's because of you, Ben. May you always cherish one another, take care of each other's hearts and find reasons to laugh together. We are so happy to welcome Ben and his whole humongous family into our own family, and we can't wait for the many, many memories that we are gonna to create together for the rest of our lives. Matan, Ben, as I have chosen you today, I will continue to choose you as my life partner to grow in love, patience, kindness, and intimacy. I'm so thankful we found each other. The thing that has always stuck out to me is that Matan, you have never once tried to change who I am. You encourage me just to be myself, which inspires me to be the best person I can be every single day. And I know I'm not the only one that feels that. From the first few weeks that you started dating Matan, everybody that knew Matan, and I'm gonna repeat that, everybody that knew Matan could instantly, without a doubt, tell the difference in how happy Matan was. And yes, that might seem obvious, right? You guys are getting married, I would hope that you make him happy, but it's not just that you make Matan happier. It's that you were the other half that, as Matan said earlier, makes him the best version of himself. You were the perfect fit for everything that he was looking for in a partner. You beat out all the men and all the women. I am so, so happy that today, officially, I can call you my brother. I love you both, and I'm so excited to see what your guys' future holds, because I know that there's some very exciting things ahead, starting tomorrow when you're going on your honeymoon. Mazal tov, guys. In every generation, the breaking of the vessel is a reminder that love takes many forms and has many roles. But in the end, love 
wins. And love won on that special day. And the spark that the two of you found in each other's hearts and the recognition and the remembrance of one another has held you until this moment. And you have withstood all of the winds that have assailed you and will assail you because you have one another. And that love is absolutely fierce. And so you did it. Love won today, and our blessing, all of us, to you is that love wins every day of your lives. In each and every moment, you choose love, and that love finds you. For those in the know, the Hornsey name is basically synonymous with kindness, intelligence, and hard work. That's a testament to Bob and Doris. And I'm really honored that our family will get to share in that legacy. All the stale classics are true. You are my best friend. You are absolutely, undoubtedly my better half. And every day you make me want to be the best version of myself. You fill in for my weaknesses and you celebrate my strengths. There is no one else I would rather build a life and a family with in return. <laughs> I promise to always make you feel like enough. To encourage and support your sense of wonder and joy. To be a sounding board for your curiosity as we both work to better understand the world and strive to make it a better place. Finally, I promise to keep filling out this list. To keep discovering the many reasons that I love you and tell and show you that I do as we move through many stages of life we're building together. Thank <laughs> you.